going for a kind of a Katsuku shaped handle. It's not good. The forge quits. It's over. We're done. Turn off the lights. That's a roll. We'll have to do this another week. 57 minutes. I don't think we're gonna get it finished. Welcome back guys. Today, I have been challenged by my brother Josh to forge an amazing chopper in three hours or less from a three pound hammer. So the other day, we went to Lowe's, picked one up. We got a high quality S-Swing, three pound hammer. Hopefully it's got some good steel in it because if it doesn't, uh, well, we won't have a good knife. You gotta have good steel to make a good knife. But anyway, there's three pounds to work with, so I'm pretty sure we can make a pretty nice big chopper. I'm gonna try to make it look nice and mean, but I'm gonna do it in three hours or less. For the handle, we're gonna do some S-Twing Blue Paracord. See, it matches. Yeah, so it's not gonna have a fancy handle, but I only have three hours, so uh, this should be definitely a lot more comfortable than just holding on to a steel tank. So uh, yeah, I guess we better get it started out. Uh, the hammer tells me I'm supposed to wear safety goggles, so check. Also, earplugs. Check. Let's go. Plus or minus a little bit. Might make it a little thinner by the end. I want more length out of it, so I think we're gonna have to forge it down edgewise a little bit. It's about two inches wide, which is probably wider than we need, so I'm gonna make it about an inch and a half by three eighths. Inch and a half? Uh, maybe a little bit more than an inch and a half. Try inch and three quarter. forge the rest of it right into the blade. worn out. It's only been 20 minutes. That is ugly. I don't know, Josh, we might have to get the spare hammer out and start over already. Just checking measurements with my hand. Cool. Go 
going for a kind of a Kapjuku shaped handle. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like in that shape. I'll also do some grinding and stuff and really make it look good. I think I'm almost ready to start forging on the blade part now. I just want to tweak the tang a little bit more on the uh, chopper. Hey, what does this remind you of? It's a Norwal. See, he's got his big Nor Norwal touch. Cut it off. One of the next things that needs to be done is to forge out the bevels. And uh, when you do that, it makes the blade bend up really bad. So before I start doing the bevels, I'm actually gonna pre-bend it down. Uh, so it's gonna look real ugly for a while before it starts looking better. That's a big old hunk of metal that doesn't wanna move. Get it a little hotter. Forge quits. Fire comes blowing out because the air quit blowing. My forge is a forced air style forge, meaning you have to blow air into it for it to work properly. What's going on here? I'm guessing it's fried, it's hot, it's really hot. It's over, we're done. Turn off the lights. That's a roll. We'll have to do this another week. We had a shop vac blower completely underneath the, uh, the table there and uh, it was starting to go bad so dad put in this vacuum cleaner like your normal indoor carpet vacuum cleaner blower in. It's our first time trying it and it looks like it's overheated or something. I don't know if it's just overheated from running so much or maybe it got too hot inside of there or I don't know but yeah after walking around in circles for a couple minutes I was like is that old blower sitting around we could stick that on there I could put this one on for a little while except looks like dad just chopped the cord right off of it and stuff this one still worked it was just starting to get bad can we have some skillet playing in the background Cause right now I feel like a monster. Feel like a monster. I also feel invincible. Feel invincible. No, actually I feel very fragile. Like any little thing else that goes wrong will end everything. <laughs> Fresh meat's back on the menu, boys. I thought Sarah was gonna explode. This isn't where this goes. Hey, why is my twisted silver wire on the floor? What do I need? Tell me what I need. Oh yeah, I was gonna hang it. Wire. Wire. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Snip, snip. Might need these for later. Just gonna caveman it right now. I'll hang it up right there. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah. That's probably hot still, yes. All right, everyone, comment below which you think will help that broken down motor run better. On my right, we have Corolla oil. On my left, we have spray adhesive. Tell me what you think I'm gonna do down in the comments. <laughs> Access hole, not standard on vacuum blowers. I think there's a bearing in there somewhere. Uh-oh, no more pressure. <laughs> this might be better after all. I learned WD-40 is, there it is. This is either gonna help it or it's gonna cause it to burst into a ball of flames when we start it. You've been warned. Better stay back. Ah! Ah! I just want this broken half. Ah! I just want it broken half! Oh boy, I could not get that piece of wood cut. I just needed like half of it so I could stick it in the forge. Thank you, Press. All right, let's go. Woo! We're back in business, boys. Saddle up the wagon, we're going down. How much time did that cost, Josh?
The very edges of my die over here are tapered. So when I press down, there's a little bit of an open gap there. That allows me to forge out the blade bevels a little bit with the uh, die instead of doing it all with the hammer. So for the first two hours, I was pretty laid back and kind of like giving a tutorial on what I'm doing and stuff. But then I was like, this time is not gonna get done. <laughs> it's starting to look mean. Ah, a blue like a monster. into a, a nice uh, prepared state for heat treating. Right now the grains in the steel are just going crazy from the extreme temperature changes over and over again. So we need to get it all uniform and relaxed inside the steel. There's our first normalization. We need to let it cool until there's no more color left. Then we can stick it back in for the second one. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you liked the video, then leave it a like down below and subscribe down below for more content in the future. Stay tuned for part two coming up soon. <laughs>